guys, welcome back to Living Life Barefoot. In today's video, we're gonna do something a little fun, and we are gonna plant two different microgreen varieties in a 10 by 10 tray. Now, since I'm a microgreens farmer, I always have a lot of extra microgreens for my family. So I don't always grow trays specifically for my family, only when I want something a little bit different. So I do grow a lot of the same varieties that are in our microgreen grow kits for my local customers. So when I'm wanting something a little different, I will go ahead and plant a tray specifically for me or my family. And that's what we're gonna do today. But like I said, we're gonna do two different varieties in one tray. I don't recommend doing this with pea shoots or sunflower shoots because the height difference could cause an issue. But when you're dealing with two microgreen seeds that are about the same in height, like what I'm gonna do today, then they'll be perfectly fine. So today we're gonna grow micro radish and red cabbage. I'm gonna go ahead and take my slotted tray. And we're gonna fill it up with some soil first. I like this handy dandy little feed scoop. <laughs> Works out really well especially when you're growing tons of trays at the same time. Okay, put the soil in, make it nice and even. I always like to take a tray, a solid tray, and press down on the soil for a nice even surface. And we're gonna go ahead and mist the soil. Make sure I'm on the mist. Oh, I was on the jet. That could have been really bad. <laughs> I did that earlier today when I was planting for my business. I didn't double check and I went to spray it and it was on jet and the soil just went everywhere. It was a disaster. Anyway, so Mr. Soil. Not too much, just enough to get it a little moist. And then I pre-measured out my seeds. So in this case, the radish is about 12 grams um of seed and then the red cabbage is about 10. so i'm just going to go half and half on the tray here and spread the seeds out as even as i can sure stick in there and like i said i'm growing this tray for me so if they kind of get mixed in together it's okay I think I got the cup a little wet. These seeds are wanting to stick. And then we'll do the other half. With the red cabbage. I just recently started growing the red cabbage. I really like it. Okay. And then I'm gonna give it a light mist again. A couple passes here with the water. And I will kind of show you if I can. So the seeds are dispersed pretty even there, not too much on top of each other. And then I'm going to take the solid tray with no holes and I'm gonna place it on top and then I'm gonna go get some weight. We're gonna put weight on it and then we're gonna let this set in germination just like this for four days. And then we'll be back and I'll show you what to do next. It's day four of our cabbage and radish grow and they've been setting here in germination for four days. So we're gonna take the bricks off and uncover it and see what we have. Actually, I'm gonna put these bricks down here. I have another variety growing down here. I need some bricks. So I'm gonna top, take this tray off. And actually, I have something growing underneath here too. I'll put that over there. We're just gonna concentrate here on the radish and the cabbage. As you can see there, there's a lot of root hairs growing, so that's a good thing. 
and you can see the difference where I did the radish on this side and the cabbage on that side and it's looking good. So I'm just gonna go ahead, give it some water here. I'm gonna top water it today. I'm introducing it to light today as well. And since I have space here in my grow room, I'm just gonna keep them here on my racks that you can easily um, just keep this on your kitchen counter or next to a windowsill and it'll get some natural light and it'll grow just fine. So we're gonna check back. What is up guys? We are back on day seven of our radish and red cabbage grow together. And as you can tell, the radish is a taller microgreen than the red cabbage, but they grew perfectly fine together and they look so good. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and grab this tray and we're gonna move them to my kitchen counter. All right, these are gonna look really nice right next to the pea shoots here in the kitchen. The boys will just go by and take handfuls of these and just munch on them or cut them. So I always like to leave some out and about where they see them so they can just grab them as they want them. Instead of letting this tray grow out to 10 days and then harvest the whole thing, package it and put it in my refrigerator, I'm bringing it out on day seven and I'm gonna leave it on my kitchen counter and I'm just gonna harvest it as I need it from now until the tray is done. I will have to continue to water it once I see that they're kind of drooping and getting thirsty, but this way I'm getting the most benefits out of the microgreens and the most nutrients out of them by just harvesting them and literally eating them right away. This is the way to do it if you want maximum nutrition, but you can always just wait till day 10 harvest it off and put it in the refrigerator and uh, use it as you need it. So just like everything, once you've harvested it day after day, it's gonna start losing its nutritional value. But luckily with microgreens, they are 40 times more nutrient dense than let's say the adult vegetable of the radish or cabbage. That is incredible. So. If you let it go for 10 days, harvest it off and put it in the refrigerator, you're still getting so much goodness. So I hope I gave you some options on growing for your family. You can do two different varieties together. You could have even mixed these together and made your own little mix. So there's so many fun ways to do it. It's incredibly easy. So not only by leaving them out on the kitchen counter and snipping them and eating them as I like, they do bring so much beauty. The color is so vibrant in microgreens that when you walk past them, you can't help but to be happy. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and um, leave these right here and harvest them as I need them and just eat them all up and get all that nutrient dense goodness that body needs and craves and wants. Just be at our best health possible and you can do that with microgreens. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please comment below, does your body crave and want fresh greens even during the winter months? So microgreens are the way to go. Aren't they so beautiful? Remember to subscribe to our channel so you can get more awesome content on microgreens and everything living life barefoot. Please like and share our videos. See you later. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. If you're interested in growing microgreens for your family at home right on your kitchen counter, just like this, go to barefootmicrogreens.com and check out our microgreen grow kits and I will teach you everything you need to know to get started.